Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Today's video is super exciting. And I was like, when is that Sephora VIB sale gonna happen? And then all of a sudden I started seeing posts about it. And I was like, oh, I knew it was coming. Like I just like had that like feeling in my body. You guys know how excited I get for the sale every single year. I love doing hauls and I also like saving money on makeup, which I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my recommendations and then some of my wish list items too. So let's just go ahead and get on into it. Also, I always get asked what I'm wearing my lips and I always forget to put it in that description box. I'm the worst. So what I'm wearing is the NARS. This is their Power Matte Lip Pigment in American Woman. These come in like little duos. You can get like cool nudes, warm nudes. There's like a red package too. I forgot what that one was called, but there's three different ones. I actually really recommend these for the Sephora VIB cell. It's really comfortable on the lips. It's not too drying and the color is beautiful. So this one is American Woman. I will have those linked down below for you guys, but but really, really like those. So now that I got my lip color out of the way, let's just go ahead and get into the sale dates. So I have them written down in front of me. For the Rouge, the sale starts April 13th to the 16th, and then you can also go 20th to the 23rd. So you can shop both sales if you are a Rouge member. And if you guys are a Rouge, it's because you spent a certain amount of money over a period of time. So there's like different levels. So that's the highest level, which is why they get to shop earlier. And you get 15% off using the code YAYRUGE. And then for VIB, your sale starts on April 20th to 23rd, and your code is YAYVIB, and you get 15% off. And then Insider, your code is yay insiders and you are the same date so 20th to the 23rd but instead of 15% you get 10% so these are just little tiers that Sephora has when you shop there and the more money that you spend the higher you are in their program and you get like little perks here and there all right so for my first recommendation is the Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam palette so I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter or not, but for Generation Beauty, I went to LA for Ipsy and I forgot all my makeup brushes. It was a nightmare. It was like the ultimate nightmare to forget all your brushes, like eye brushes, face brushes, everything, it sucked. But I remember that I just purchased this palette, so I still had it in the box with me in my bag. And thank goodness these palettes come with a dual-ended brush. Like it saved me for my eye makeup, like saved me. Cause I was getting ready for the creator day cause I had a panel for Ipsy that day. And I was like, what am I gonna do? How the heck am I gonna do my makeup? Like how am I gonna do bronzer? How am I gonna do anything? So yeah, so this actually saved me with the eyes and then I had my like little makeup pouch that I keep in my backpack every day, which had this brush in it. You guys know my collab with SLMS Glam. So I use this for all my face stuff <laughs> and then the one in here for all my eye stuff. But this saved me, just had to tell you guys about that. But this one retails for $42. I really love this palette. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Mine's a little beat up because I kind of got my nail into that one right up there but I've been using this one nonstop. It is so pretty, like so pretty. I absolutely love it. I love it that you can create very neutral looks with it and you can also glam them up. Like there's such a wide variety of colors in here that you can create a ton of different looks with. I have to say though, I wish it had a matte cream shade in here to set my eyeshadow primers with to allow the eyeshadows to really glide over because I kept having to go into my Sephora Warm Pro palette. They have Tempura right here, but it's like a light pink with a slight bit of, it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's just not that cream shade that I really love. Other than that, I think it's absolutely beautiful and I highly recommend it. All right, so next up, NARS came out with two different cheek palettes and the one that I really love is Wanted One. So there's Wanted One and Wanted Two. I love the colors in this one, you guys. They are absolutely gorgeous. Let me open it up. Their packaging is always so hard to open. That's the one thing. Always challenging with me. <laughs> but I love the colors in this one. It retails for $59. But you get a total of five blushes and then one shimmery blush topper right here. Just really pretty colors, honestly. I love them. I think they're perfect for the spring and the summertime. I'm actually wearing this one right here on my cheeks right now, and it's really, really gorgeous. I love it. It's that just brings a really fresh look to your makeup. This one is really pretty too, but those two are like my favorite shades in here. They're just really, really gorgeous. I highly recommend the palette. The formula is great, and I think the colors are perfect. All right, so next up, Urban Decay came out with a ton of new high definition lip glosses that are gorgeous like 
so gorgeous and I have to say this one is my favorite one and I recommend it these ones retail for $20 the color that I love is fuel this is such a pretty gloss you guys they are so moisturizing and they just make your lips look very like luscious and juicy and I think they might have a plumping effect because it's like very menthol-y feeling on your lips but it just honestly I love the way that they look and also they have great pigmentation to them too so this is definitely my favorite color it's like my lip color but better and it just makes my lips look so healthy looking and I just really love it and I think glosses are really coming in even though it's hard for me to steer away from the mattes because I know they're gonna last longer but the glosses are just a great fix or even just to revive a matte lipstick that you have on if I'm wearing this throughout the day and I'm noticing oh it's getting a little too dry for me then I'll pop on a lip gloss on top and just revive it but I love this color so fuel I definitely recommend all right so for a new foundation that recently came out it's been out for a little bit now and everyone's been talking about it and I definitely recommend trying it out especially during the sale when you get to save money on your makeup and that is the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation I love this foundation it's perfect for date nights it looks beautiful on the skin I love it. If you have a normal to dry skin, you can definitely get away with wearing this all day. If you have more oily skin, it probably won't last all day on you because I know it doesn't last all day on me. Although, you know what? I need to put it to the test because my skin has changed now that I've been pregnant. It's more on the normal to dry side right now. It's like weird. My skin like balanced out. It's so weird. Gorgeous on the skin, has great coverage. Highly recommend it. My lightest shade, which I would actually be right now, is Mont Blanc. And then if I'm between tanning, then I go to Duval. And then if I'm really tan, with myself tanner, <laughs> then I'm Barcelona. So I have like tons of different shades, but I love them. All right, so next up, I wanna talk about the Too Faced Natural Collection. So I had a ton of you guys ask me about this collection, what I think about it, and if I was gonna do a review video on it. I actually filmed a tutorial. I used this palette today to create the eye look that I'm wearing right now. So if you guys wanna go check out the tutorial, go check out my Instagram, it's over there. I'm throwing a lot of my quick little tutorials over there just because they do better over there. And they're just really fun to make, to be honest. I also wanna say, Make sure you're following all your favorite YouTubers on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, I would get one because a lot of it is heading towards Instagram. A lot of people are getting upset with YouTube now and people aren't doing YouTube anymore. A lot of brands are doing YouTube anymore. They're all going to Instagram. So if you should definitely get over on Instagram because I feel like that's where everything is going to be heading. So I just kind of want to inform you guys on that and like keep you up to date with where everything is kind of going. But I've been using this natural collection from Too Faced and oh my goodness, you guys, I love it. I love the more natural makeup. It's just my cup of tea and I just, I just really, really enjoy it. The quality and the formula is so good in this collection. So they came out with the Natural Eyes palette right here. They also came out with the Natural Matte palette. So these are just repackaged and reformulated and they did a really, really good job with them. So the Natural Eyes one actually has shimmers in it right here really beautiful shades absolutely beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and swatch a couple on my hands for you right now so there's one here is push up right here really really pretty and then let's go into the matte one so here's the matte palette so i actually have cleavage right here that's all over my lids and you know what it blended out so easily on my lid and it's just a really pretty kind of light plum shade then we have risky biz which is a little bit more of a deeper plum has some brown tones in it right there definitely gorgeous palette this one is all matte so i think they really go well with each other i am honestly going back and forth between both the palettes i use both those palettes for like one eye look they just really correspond well with each other. I definitely recommend the eye palettes, especially if you're into natural makeup. And then here is their new face palette, which is beautiful. This one is also stunning. So they came out with like two highlighters, two blushes, and two kind of bronzers in here, depending on your skin tone. It's like how you could use these, but they're so pretty. I love satin sheets. This is what I'm wearing as my highlight right now. It's got a really pretty gold tone to it. I love the blush in here, Pink Sand. This one actually reminds me of a blush they came out with a long time ago that they discontinued. That was my favorite. I like absolutely loved it. I forgot the name of it. I might still be in my collection. So when I saw that in there, I was like, oh my God, this is so pretty. Again, this palette right here is also another dope for me. I think it's beautiful. 
and it's just a gorgeous packaging too. So really love those. So they also repackage a bunch of their bronzers too. So these are already bronzers that are already out on the market. They're just repackaged. So you guys have seen those before. Those are okay. They're just been redone. I already have them, but you guys, the lipsticks. I have a whole lip swatch video on my Instagram of all the lipsticks, go check it out. My favorite one is Overexposed. This one is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, I love it. I It's so pretty and I love the formula of these lipsticks. They're moisturizing, they're pigmented, but they don't slip inside around. Like they stay put on your lips, which is perfect. They're just the most comfortable lipsticks that also don't bleed out. Like I put these on with no lip liner and I'm totally fine. So I really, really love the lipsticks and my favorite one is Overexposed. So definitely love the collection. I just wanted to do a quick little review in here because I do recommend it. It's available on Sephora so you can get it for the sale. For the last product that I want to recommend to you guys is a very interesting product like very interesting. My mom actually got this for me. She's like, you, I've heard about it. You have to try it out. Tell me what you think about it. And this is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Yeah, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. It is so interesting, you guys. Okay, so this retails for $38. It is a small amount, but honestly, I wouldn't bake with it. I would more so just lightly set underneath the eyes with it. But if you read it right here, this little um, sticker says, keep me closed and keep me cool. Well, when you open it up, you have the powder down here with the little netting. So it keeps it like, you know, controlled and everything. I've never tried anything like this before ever. So you put the, your brush in that and the second you touch your face with it, it feels wet. It's crazy. It feels like you're putting something wet on your face and you would be like, what? Like, how is this working? And it literally just sets the under eyes so good. It's hydrating underneath the eyes. It's not drying. And so if you have a little bit more mature skin or more dry skin and those little fine, we all have these little fine lines underneath our eyes, it sets it beautifully. I've never seen a product like it. I definitely recommend trying it out. I think you guys will really love it. It's so weird. Trust me, the first time you use it, you're gonna be like, whoa, what is this? And it's such a cool product. So they did a really awesome job with this and I think it sets the under eye beautifully. I would just save it for the under eye, powder anywhere else that you need a powder with a different one. But this one, that is cool. All right, so now let me go ahead and get into my wishlist items. So looking at it now, there's are gonna be like new releases that usually launch on the day of the Sephora sale. But from what I see now and what I really wanna get my hands on are these products right here. So the first one, Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. Everyone keeps talking about it and I'm like dying to try it out. It's got really cool colors and I don't have anything like that in my collection. It's an expensive palette though. It's $129, crazy expensive, but you get a discount on it. <laughs> so I'm like, can I justify that? So I really wanna try out that palette, see how that is, see the colors of it. Everyone's been talking about it, so I think that's what's got me like, I'm intrigued. Like, let me try you out. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorezzi highlighters, oh, they look so pretty, you guys, like so pretty. Dying to try those out too, so that's on my wish list. And that one retails for $28. And then, if you guys know me very well, you know I'm obsessed with My Little Pony, and Glam Glow came out with My Little Pony face mask, so I wanna get my hands on one of those, because I just have to, because it's My Little Pony. They targeted me, they knew it, and now they're drawing me in. So I'm probably gonna be picking up one of those because, hello, My Little Pony. A new foundation that I've been dying to try out is one that I've been seeing all over Instagram, and I'm like, God, I need to try this out so bad. It's the new Cover of X Powder Play Foundation. I haven't really heard anyone talk about it, like is it good or is it bad, but I've seen it all over Instagram. That's on my wish list too. And also another recommendation, I would purchase this if I didn't just buy all these brushes from Sephora because when I forgot all my brushes, I went to the mall and picked up a bunch of brushes from the mall later that day. So I got a lot of Sephora brushes that are in this set, but they are so Good, so Sephora came out with a Sephora Collection Pro Essential Brush Set. It's expensive, it's like $175, but oh my goodness, are they worth it. The brushes are bomb. I love the Sephora 56 brush, I have two of them. This is how much I love them. They are so 
good for foundation. Literally airbrush foundation, applies it beautifully on the skin. And then they also have an angled one, which I use for bronzer. This is the 49 one in it, I believe. Another great solid brush. And then also their eye brushes are really good too. So I actually have a couple of their eye brushes. They're amazing. I use them to create this look. They are so like amazing quality. They are a little pricey, but with the set, I think it's an awesome deal because I bought not even that many brushes in that set and I spent like $200. So the brush set is a really, really good deal. Plus you can get 15% off. So I highly recommend that. All right, so now at the end of the video when I'm like really out of breath, I hope you guys enjoyed the Sephora recommendation and wishlist item video. Um, let me know your recommendations in the comments down below. Also, let me know any wishlist items that you are dying to try out too. I love talking with you guys in the comments. So let me know that in the comments down below. We can all like help each other shop for this like sale. Recommend certain products for one another. I don't know, I just love that. I love conversing with you guys in the comments. So definitely leave those down there. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the Sephora sale and you're excited for the haul videos that are coming. Yes, I'm excited for them. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.